and welcome to Be Now Coffee with Tiffany and Cindy. Hi, oh, Cindy. good morning, Cindy. Good Always morning. such a pleasure Always. for us to have these conversations. And I know that we've said this a million times, but you know that we may have new listeners too. Over the years, you've said, "Oh my God," because well, we talk all the time, uh -huh. and you said we should be recording this. I was, "Oh, Cindy, nobody would be interested in what right. we're talking." Well, guess what? I'm wrong. You're right. People right. love it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And today, Jeannie and I decided that we were going to talk about nesting mm. because we are mammals and we are nesting and we do, women do create an environment in their home. Women like Jeannie make it spectacular. I make it comfortable, you know, uh, that type of thing. But both of us have experienced simplifying, getting rid of stuff that we just don't use, and moving. You moved across town to a gorgeous building that you renovated into a home. And I moved from Texas all the way to Florida in a brand new environment. So we're going to be talking about how we put our house together, uh, our things together, the whole nesting process. And let's start with your animals. <laughs> well, so this is very interesting. Of course, my husband's a veterinarian, but he's also a certified animal trainer. Right. So we have a, a little border collie named Tip who is uh, pure purebred. Uh -huh. And she is very, I mean, you know, she needs like, you know, three sheep and a job because she's like, you know, trying to hurt us and stuff. Adorable. And then we have a four-year-old or a five-year-old, I guess we got her when she was a year old, rescue Irish wolfhound. And she was a wild child, but I mean, she is just like Miss Alagante. She sits up there at the, you know, they go to work with Joe every morning. Right. Well, we've moved into our winery, which is like 2,700 square feet. You know, people say, oh, you downsize. Well, no, no, we had 1,450 square feet before. <laughs> no. But we are simplifying. So we don't have yard work and we don't have a, a pool to keep up with and we don't have a guest cottage and we don't have seven pecan trees and all that jazz. Well, this is so interesting because our dogs are well-trained. We have a, a fenced backyard here at the new place. I leave the door propped open, you know, so they can come and go. And for the past couple of days since we moved in, I've been waking up to little presents on the floor, you know, Oops. wet and some little little poo-poo uh, -poo piles and stuff. And, and I haven't gotten on them, but I've just looked at them and gone, really? And so my thing was, Cindy, why is this happening? Well, they have been uprooted and they have, you know, they don't know really what's going on. And it is, I think, their way of saying, hey, mom, what's going on? You yeah. know, so I, I really do plan to sit down and talk with them. We have. But, you know, I'm really going to have a big talk and just say, you're secure. You know, we're not leaving you anywhere. This is it. And so, but, you know, as we're all connected with energy. And I know that my energy patterns have changed. Even my plants, they're not in the backyard. They're out on our big front patio. You know, my um, interactions with my husband has changed. I mean, he's so much happier here. That's and right. yeah, and, and I am too. But, you know, I'm sure that you noticed as well when you moved across country that everything changed. All of a sudden you're with your little grandkids and you're with your kids and you're in a new environment and it's it's completely different and so how do you take that energy that you and your husband brought with you and create a new nest exactly exactly well at least you're still in the same town here i, I the only social life i've really managed to have so far is with my kids and grandkids uh-huh so but i'm doing a lot of exploration it's really we live in the sarasota area it's in the 70s right now it's gorgeous outside it's 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 a beautiful environment especially this time of year summertime it gets a little muggy and hot but it, it we had, we're adapting you know and it's called nesting but when you uproot 
And with you, your whole environment has changed, even though you're in the same town. Everything, I just love the pictures that you send me of your home and your creativity that you're doing in your home. I just am blown away with everything that you've done. I can't wait to come visit you. Oh, I know. And it's going to be great. I can't wait. Uh, But, you know, one of the things the other night, I mean, we moved totally out of the house on Wednesday night last week. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday, no, on, yeah, Friday night, Friday night, uh, they had late night shopping here, you know, for all the merchants and stuff. And I, I mean, that totally passed me by because I've been busy. So we were sitting out on the, the patio, which we have this big, you know, six, 650 square foot patio that faces the street. And I could hear kids laughing and I went, what is that? And he went, well, it's late night shopping. I went, oh yeah. All of a sudden I hear sirens. I hear music. I hear, and I'm like, what? I see lights. Well, it's the annual Christmas parade. We watched it from our porch. It is a hundred feet away from main street. And I was thrilled. And I just went, oh my God. I can sit here and listen and I took pictures and I heard the music and I saw the floats and you know so it's it's completely different but one of the things that I have found too Cindy and I know you went through this you were ruthless which is great I need to get uh, less Ruth you know I need or whatever Um, but getting rid of stuff you know and and giving away stuff that no longer serves you and you know, we, I, I just gave away, gave away, gave away, threw away. And then we ended up with two storage units. Just hand me that shotgun and kill me. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, really sorry. And, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm in here and I think, this place is so beautiful. I don't want to goober it up with a bunch of furniture and a bunch of, I mean, we have tons of artwork and, you know, all of that is great. But I cannot wait to kind of finally get settled in here and nested. And then I've already given fair warning to Joe. I said, I will be over at those places. I will be getting rid of stuff. I don't want to pay storage on stuff that we're not going to live with or need or use when somebody else. And here's the other thing too, Cindy, is that everything that we have, including our clothes, has emotional resonance to it. Oh, good point. Yeah. So we see something and, you know, it was in this place, in that, you know, room forever. And, but it has an emotional feel to it. It's not bad and it's not good. It just is. Now, is this the same kind of energy field that I want to occupy time and space in my life? That's just the question. Yes or no? Right. Right. And so right now, because it is the Christmas season, my whole living room is full of Santa Clauses and got a Christmas tree and all of that. So we do change things. Sometimes uh, we had autumn theme. My daughter went and bought the reef, you know, friendly little reef. So we had autumn theme and now we're moving into Christmas theme. And then we have a an amazing retreat coming up in January. This was your idea. And I'm really excited about this Jeannie, because uh, first of all, we've got such a great group of women that have, I mean, we have such a beautiful, beautiful um, group of women that come to these retreats that we do. And I always get recharged. I mean, Uh, what do they call that? A retreat high? Refresh and renew is the name of our retreat. Exactly. It's just three days, two nights, which we haven't done since the very first one in 2017 when women were like, yeah, I'm not leaving after two nights. So we've been always doing four days, three nights. But this one is going to be over the MLK holiday. So it'll be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in the Piney Woods in Nacogdoches, East Texas. And it is going to be fabulous, the people who have signed up. But more than that, Cindy, you and I are both literally in a new place in our life. Literally. We really are. And figuratively, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, 
And I know that when we had one, uh, we had a retreat, I guess, once in, maybe it was in January or March or something, I don't remember, in Dallas. And mm -hmm. I mean, women so came away from, yeah, January, but it was a long one. Uh -huh. But, you know, it was, women came away from there and they wrote books, they started businesses, they they found new relationships, they moved, they got new cars, whatever. They changed their lives. And so four I... Words. With that four words. You what? can do it. You can do it. And that's yeah. all you need for to make something successful is for even just one person, let alone a whole group of people saying, you can do it. And it's so beautiful when we get into an environment and we pick and choose and we say, what is the most beautiful environment we can be in? Well, I mean, we choose beautiful environments for our, our retreats. This one is going to be spectacular. Yes, it's it out I'm really spectacular, I, but very loving and calm and um, refreshing. And so women seriously, beautiful network of women.com grab your spot and grab your friends or your other girls that you want we have unlimited buddy passes you can get a each of you can get a big discount and i can't wait because my energy is so different here you know joe and i created this winery 11 years ago mm -hmm. and we sat down at our ranch and at the dining room table and took a napkin and just you know, sketched it all out and built it. And so when we decided to live in it, it's like everything has to change, not everything, but you know, the, the colors of the walls and the choices that we make. And, you know, we in fact took the, uh, I, had, I had a 400 square foot commercial kitchen, which is a dream, uh -huh. fabulous. And so our builder said, when he built the walk-in shower in the back, he said, I have an idea. We're like, okay. He said, why don't you turn the kitchen into your bedroom? And it was like someone just like knocked my head sideways. I was like, what? I mean, the kitchen is the kitchen is the kitchen. He, he said, it doesn't have to be. I'm not kidding you. We have not slept this well in 11 years. We have not slept this well in 11 years. And part of it is because the building is made out of structurally insulated panels which means it has styrofoam in it, in the walls and the ceiling. So we didn't want to cut extra exterior windows. So we have lots of light here and we've got lots see. of light. Okay. But we have no exterior windows and it's like nesting, like you were just saying. It's like we're in this little cave at nighttime. And, you know, so when we change our environment and when we go to these retreats or when we change our home, or we change our city. You changed your city and your state. I just changed my dwelling place. Right. But everything changes, Cindy. Right. Well, one thing about Texas, and I wrote a song about it, though, is uh, she, she doesn't let you go completely. Mm -mm. <laughs> you might move, but that Texas is still in my heart. You know, it's, it's just an amazing place, Texas. I started off in California in my life. But I was in Texas for 30 years. And yeah. now I'm in Florida with a bunch of um, really interesting people. One thing that I learned was that when I did move to San Angelo, Texans are very loyal to the state and to each other, especially if they grew up in a place, right? So if you're not a local or you didn't grow up there, then uh, you, they were always really very, very nice but not necessarily would you get that, you know what I mean, that, that uh, you wouldn't be invited to all their parties or something like that, you know, just because people usually stick with who they know there. And so I found myself making friends with people who had come to San Angelo, but didn't grow up there. That's where my friendships were because- Which is a whole subset. Yeah, of exactly. energy, and what I know about you is that you took the the ones who grew up there, mm -hmm. and you folded them into this, so it changed their lives and experiences too. Oh, okay, yeah, it's it's interesting because I get 
I get uh, notes, especially on Facebook, they're, oh, we sure miss you here from people that I haven't seen <laughs> in a long time, but I, I'm just not there anymore, right? And yeah. but here in Florida, where, especially where I live, it's full of implants. Now I'm, sure. getting, I'm getting used to the new accent because it's not right. Texas accent here. These are people, a lot of them are from New York, New Jersey, that kind of thing. So I'm getting used to an, a new accent. But I've, I love who I've met. I've met some really amazing people. And there's a lot of versatility here, a lot, you know, of places. But I well, do. We make our own environments. When you were talking about, uh, you've got Christmas up. And I mean, just this morning, I was looking. I've got, you know, I've got a, tr a tree in a box. I've got several big boxes of stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if they're going to go up this year. Okay. Yeah. That's it okay. either will or it won't, but you know, it's first things first. But well, my son put, gave me the tree. My daughter put it up and the grandkids all decorated it. So. Yay. Would you send them to me? <laughs> Just send them here Just for a couple of days. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So, well, so I'm so glad we're wrapping up this, this uh, year of 2022. Yes. It's been uh, lots of big changes. Right. And I know that 2023 is going to be extraordinary. And ladies, seriously, you know, pay attention to what you're feeling. Pay attention to where you want to be. And let us bring our energy with you. Let us support your dreams. And I just want to, and this is kind of a little thing, which is no big deal. But, you know, in changing everything... Well, I, I've always, you know, I grew up in Dallas, so that's a different vibe. And so I always just kind of developed my own environment in my home. And right. it was always comfortable and eclectic and, you know, a lot of elegance and stuff. But anyhow, so when I moved here to the ranch to be with Joe, you know, it was all Texas Hill Country, which just has its own charm. It was a ranch. Beautiful. And then we moved into a house that had the Texas Hill Country. But when we moved into the winery, I was like, no, I'm not doing Texas Hill Country, you know, and I'm not angry about it. It's just not who I am. So I went on, and ladies, you can do this. Go on, and some of you may know this, house, H-O-U-Z-Z -Z dot com, and look for their little quiz. It's like an eight or a ten question quiz. What is my house style? Oh, no kidding. So it came out. And it was real easy. And I went, well, yeah. And mine came out French country, which, of course, is soft. And it is, um, but eclectic. It's got interesting things. It's got some elegance to it. But at some point, when I get all moved in, I'll give you, I mean, all the colors have changed. Everything has changed. And I couldn't be happier. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> And you do too. I miss you, my friend. I'll see you in just a couple of weeks at in Nacogdoches. Yes. Woo! Yes. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for joining us. Please share this. Hit the share button. Invite your friends to listen to us. Yes. And and you know share this stuff. Like us because we are growing, and together we know our tribe is growing, and we're very grateful. Thank you. Yeah, women uniting. Love you. I love you too. Talk to you later.